Guys, this is going to be the first breakdown with Dr. Kickass. So I want to go over what happened with Thiago Santos over this weekend at UFC 239. So what happened was uh, Thiago Santos was throwing a kick somewhere during the first or second round. I believe it was the second round, not quite sure. He threw a kick and as he did his knee buckled. After the fight, it revealed that he had an ACL, MCL, medial meniscus tear, and a PCL tear. So I'm going to talk about what he did and what that means. When I throw my kick, I should be opening up my hip. What that allows me to do is so that when I lift my leg up to rotate, I can let my power come through. So I step, rotate, come through, so I can throw my kick. What happened with Thiago Santos is he doesn't take a big enough step when he threw. So, as opposed to opening his hip, he steps, he throws a kick. John Jones stepped back. So typically when I throw a kick, I throw, I hit my structure, I come back. He didn't have that impact to bounce back from. So as opposed to being in a position where his leg can come back, all that energy goes through so he continues to rotate. So his knee is here as he rotates over. And you can see it's hard for me to even do because it's such an unnatural position. So. When I rotate through, it puts a load of stress. That's likely what ruptured the knee. Injury called the unhappy triad, which is the ACL, MCL, medial meniscus tear. The thing that we don't know is did he have a pre existing knee injury prior, or did this just happen from that? Then the second thing is you have to realize that he fought for four rounds with this knee injury. So, it also determined that he had a PCL injury. Was that something that happened with the initial move or was the fact that he fought for an additional 20 plus minutes on this injured knee that caused his knee to rupture? So then the, the next question is, how was Thiago Santos able to keep fighting for around 20 minutes following this knee injury? So, following an injury like this, there are some other structures that as secondary stabilizers. So your quad is a secondary stabilizer for your PCL. Your hamstring is a secondary stabilizer for your ACL. Likely what was happening, the reason why he had so much damage was because his knee was sliding around during the motion. He was still throwing kicks with his left leg planted. So likely he was just causing more trauma to the knee during the fight. You also have to remember he's an athlete who was fighting for a championship. So it's understandable why he kept going. But we don't know if him continuing fighting caused more damage. So I hope you enjoyed my breakdown. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Get me on Instagram at uh, Dr. Underscore Kickass.